Welcome to the project demonstration of GSM based embedded web server for substation monitoring and controlling. So here uh, the web server is designed to monitor and controlling the substation parameters. So mainly in our project we are concentrating on the four parameters that is voltage and frequency and current and temperature. So in substation coming to the monitoring of feeders for example. So whenever uh, the voltage is abnormality is uh, abnormality is there and uh, if the frequency is abnormality occurred and if current is more uh, increased means the heavy load was occurred. So and also if the temperature of the feeder is more then in this abnormal cases the system will provide the SMS alerts to the registered phone number. So registered phone number uh, will receive the SMSs and also we can control the circuit breaker uh, through this relay by sending the message alerts to that. Right. So for uh, demonstration purpose we kept this number. So to this number we are going to sending the message alerts. So low voltage and low frequency and high frequency and uh, same thing we can on and off this circuit breaker by sending the message alert of all our small characters of on. So when we send the message on then the device switched on means the circuit breaker got will be switched on to safety precautions for the substation feeders. So here the major components in our project is for voltage frequency current varying purpose we are making use of these three potentiometers and the frequency directly interfaced to the you know but the timer pin through the optocoupler inbuilt IC and temperature sensor at pin number uh, A3 so A0, A1, A2, A3 pins are interfaced to see, uh, respectively for the respective sensors. And whenever the abnormality occurred as we have seen the messages alerts received that will be done through this GSM module. So we are using that for SMS sending alerts and that can be sent to uh, the registered phone number and uh, from anywhere in the world the message can be received to the receiver. And we have interfaced that at the pin number 8 and 9 for the GSM module and this relay interface with the pin number 10 and 13th pin interface to this buzzer and this is the LCD display to continuously monitor the status of the project and we have interfaced that at pin number 2 to pin number 7 and this is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the project so means input, output and processing unit along with the controlling unit so that 5 volts is getting from this to our adapter so the adapter will take 230 volts AC input and provide as the 5 volts DC output that is the operating voltage of our device. So once we place the 5 volts here it is distributing that throughout the input output modules. So in our project input modules are these three potentiometers for varying purpose of voltage current frequency voltage frequency current and uh, this is a temperature sensor. These uh, three four are the inputs and GSM uh, will acting as an input and output module as it can receive the messages from the instructor instructor and also it will send the message alerts to the instructor and output module is buzzer relay and 16 by 2 LCD screen so here the main processing unit is the Arduino inner board okay and let us see the demonstration so first of all we need to insert a valid sim card into this uh, module GSM module so that is uh, use ATL or GI or VEO, VI okay so we are using VI and the notch should be this side At the same time insert that in this manner okay so the notch should be this side right so push to lock and push to unlock so after successfully inserting the sim card check whether uh, it should have the sms balance or main balance so you should have both any any one of them for message alerting purpose now we are on the power supply and hold this reset switch okay till the gsm modem got the signal so means we can see one light is blinking very fast at a duration of one second once it got the signal right now we can see the blinking red got slowed down so after this confirmation only on the uh, release this switch so wait till the signals comes down if it's not come down to right now so then just of the power supply again and just check whether the sim card inserted properly or not okay and now on the power supply to that Right, we can see that 
now the blinking rate on the gsm module got slowed down to 3 seconds duration for the confirmation you can make a call to this sim card which you have inserted in the gsm module right so we are getting the ring so as this is the number of this sim card which we have inserted into this so instead of ring if you get another messages like unable to connect then the indication of the sim card don't get the signal so after this confirmation you can release the switch so we can welcome message displayed on the lcd screen and everything is normal we have switch so here we set the limitations for the voltage is 220 to 240 is a normal when it is below 220 is a low voltage above 240 is a high voltage coming to the frequency 40 to 55 hertz for easy demonstration purpose we kept this limitations below 40 above 55 is a norm a uh, low and above is a high frequency coming to the current when the current is more than 200 milliamps of current then it is going to be the high current and coming to the temperature 40 degree centigrade is the limitation of this temperature sensor now let us vary the current right sorry varying the voltage so we have to see the message of the time of same thing is right okay high voltage it will send only message once but buzzer keeps on beeps till it is comes to normal right when it is normal and coming to the low voltage so beeps continuously no voltage message we have received same for low frequency right we got the low frequency same for high frequency every time you are receiving the message you can see now the current also increasing the current slowly every time you are receiving the message you can see the respective parameter along with a current value or why it is more and its value so if it is a low voltage and what is the low voltage value and high voltage high voltage value frequency and the current also and coming to the temperature so the temperature is above 40 degree centigrade then we will receive the message alerts so during this abnormal is if you want to control the circuit breaker just send a message of small letters on the relay got switched on as you can see that and it will display on the message as a message should switch it on and we'll get the reply also right device switch it on right at the same time when everything is normal after the confirmation the same person can send the message of the registered phone number off off all are small letters and the relay will be off right and also we can see the confirmation message on the lcd screen right so i'll send the message right okay device got switched off so in this manner so we are going to monitor and controlling of the substation using gsm sms service